Hello, my name is Brother Mike Valenzuela, and I've been asked to talk to you about the Salin spirituality in the context of service learning. Let me begin by saying that one of the things this pandemic has forced many of us to do is to reflect a little more deeply about how fragile life is, how everything we depend on and take for granted from lifestyle to people can disappear or change in a matter of days or weeks. Daily, we struggle with the challenges and anxieties the pandemic brings, even as we grow ever more aware of the many other problems that will face us, even when this pandemic lifts. Problems like failed governance, a global economy that keeps the poor in poverty, global warming, and other threats to the environment. In the face of all these, some of the questions we may find ourselves asking are, what truly matters? How can we go on? Can we really make a difference? And do we really want to go back to, way, to a way of living and working that diverts us from the problems facing the world and disconnects us from our deepest moral and spiritual convictions, those beliefs and values that energize us and give us life? It's in this context that Lasallian spirituality, I think, becomes very relevant. A Lasallian spirituality is one that challenges us to weave together our spiritual life with both professional life and social concern. It does this by inviting us to look at the bigger picture within which our actions unfold, which is, for those of us who happen to believe in God, a world where there is a divine power at work in everyday events, moving all of creation towards justice, love, and peace. LaSalle's spirituality is rooted in the conviction that all of our lives is led in the presence of this God, a God whom Jesus discloses as inclusive and redemptive in his loving. That is to say that God is forever reaching into the chaos and pain of each person's existence and seeking to create from the mess of our lives something good and whole and beautiful. To remember we are in God's presence is to remember that God's love excludes no one and that we are invited to see our own efforts and our own work as part of God's inclusive and redemptive love in the world. This leads us to a very important question. When you finally leave university and move out into this fragile and damaged world, what will be your role in it? Lasallian spirituality invites us to see our future professions as ways of participating with God in healing the brokenness of our world. For too long, the world has suffered from ways of working, doing business, earning a living that separate the spiritual from the professional and the professional from concern for the common good. This has led to unethical and unsustainable ways of working and doing business that endanger both our planet and our souls. In recent years, Pope Francis has challenged us to think systemically in terms of what he calls an integral ecology where spirituality, economics, ethics, and politics all come together. We need to rethink all work from this perspective if our planet is to survive. As you engage in your service learning projects, there is always the temptation to just take these classes as, you know, just another requirement. I invite you to think of service learning in a different way, as a training ground for learning to integrate your spiritual, professional, and political life. As your classes bring you more and more in touch with the pain of the world, dare to open the eyes of your heart and ask what this broken but still beautiful world demands of you. Ask yourself, how can my talents, gifts, and passions contribute to creating a better nation, a better world for those who will come after me? In doing so, 
you may find your life taking on a distinct direction, becoming a journey and not just a continuing series of detours and distractions. Perhaps you will have come a step closer to finding your purpose and calling in this world and moved the world a little closer to hope. That's my own hope for all of you. Live Jesus in our hearts forever.